Aim of this experiment is taming and hypnosis potentiating effect of chlorpromazine in mice. The objectives of this experiment are to understand the terms mood elevators, antipsychotic, neuroleptics, antimanic or mood stabilizers, tranquilizer. To understand tosis, psych, psychosis. To understand schizophrenia, delusions, hallucinations. To know various methods employed for evaluating psychotropic drugs. The nosology makes basic distinction among psychosis, cognitive disorders, mood disorders, anxiety disorders, and disorders of personality. Antipsychotics are used primarily in the management of patients with psychotic and other psychiatric illness marked by agitation and impaired reasoning. One must understand that the essential characteristic of human mental disorders cannot be reproduced in animals. Therefore, cognition, communication and social relationships in animals are difficult to compare with human conditions. Chlorpromazine is used in the treatment of psychiatric disorders of various types. It has remarkable actions to reduce psychomotor excitements, alter manic states, and also in schizophrenia. It involves suppression of spontaneous movements and complex behaviors while spinal reflexes remain intact. In humans, chlorpromazine reduces initiative and interest in environment, manifestation of emotions, slowness in response to external stimuli, drowsiness, and patient becomes less agitated. The aggressive and impulsive behavior diminishes, delusions and hallucinations disappear, which is known as taming effect. The psychophysiological and behavioral effects produced in animals by chlorpromazine show striking similarity to human beings in low doses. Chlorpromazine reduces excitement, but spinal reflexes are unchanged. In high dose, chlorpromazine causes cataleptic immobility in more animals, muscle stone is increased, and tosis is typical. The animal is indifferent to stimuli. Chlorpromazine also has other clinically useful properties apart from neuroleptic effect. It has anti-emetic and antihistaminic effects and ability to potentiate analgesics, sedatives and general anesthetics. This tranquilizing and neuroleptic activity of chlorpromazine is known as ataractic activity. The ataractic activity is more than its sedative and anesthetic effect. Chlorpromazine induces tranquilization that is taming or calmness without sedation or loss of alertness. 
the taming and potentiating effects of chlorpromazine can be studied in laboratory animals like mice and rats by observing the avoidance of conditional response, animal behavior, ability to potentiate CNS depressants, reduced motor activity. The responses can be observed in following manner. Chlorpromazine potentiate barbiturate sleeping time in rodents by employing writing reflex method. Conditioned avoidances response by employing pole climbing method. Reduce spontaneous motor activity by employing actophotometer. Potentiation of analgesic activity by hot plate method. Antagonism to stimulant drugs. Suppressed combativeness. To study the timing and hypnosis potentiating effect of chlorpromazine, always select healthy mice. Cook's pole climbing apparatus is used for this purpose. The apparatus consists of a, an experimental chamber with flow grid which carry electric current. A pole is hanged from the top of the chamber inside it. The electrical panel consists of rotating knobs for adjustment of time of electric shock and voltage. It is also provided with auto and manual setup for buzzer or light source along with mains on off switch. Pole climbing apparatus also has output terminals which can be connected to a chymograph. Now bless the mice individually in the chamber and observe normal behavior. Train the mice to escape from electric shock by climbing up the pole. This is called as non-conditioned response. Similarly, trained in mice to climb up the pole in response to danger signals such as buzzer, sound or light flash which occurs before the shock. This is called as conditioned avoidance response. Remember, this may require two to three weeks period. Keep mice number one as control. Now inject clopromazine in a dose 4 mg per kg intraperitoneally to mice number 2 and observe conditioned and non-conditioned responses. You can see that clopromazine blocks conditioned avoidance response which means the mice forgets to climb on the pole in response to the danger signal. However, clopromazine fails to block non-conditioned response. This is indicated by escape of mice to electric shock by climbing on the pole. For studying hypnosis potentiating effect of clopromazine by writing reflex method, select three healthy mice of either sex. Inject clopromazine in dose 4 mg per kg intraperitoneally to mice number 1. Observe onset and duration of sleeping time in mice by checking writing reflex at regular interval. Here, sleeping time is considered as the time intervals between loss and recovery of writing reflex. In mice number 2, inject pentobarbital in a dose 45 mg per kg intraperitoneally. Observe 
onset and duration of sleeping time. Remember, writing reflex in mice means the ability of mice to regain normal posture. You can see here, onset of sleeping time is quick and duration of sleep is prolonged than mice number one. In mice number three, inject clopromazine in same dose by intraperitoneal route and after 30 minutes, inject pentobarbitone in a same dose intraperitoneally. Observe onset and duration of sleeping time. You can see that onset of sleeping time reduces whereas duration of sleeping time increases in mice number 3 as compared to mice number 1 and 2. This indicates chlorpromazine has hypnosis potentiating effect on pentobarbitone induced sleep. You have learned that you will be able to distinguish between different psychological disturbances in human being. Selective antipsychotics are available in a peculiar psychic disorders. You will be able to understand that animal models employed do not always give true efficacy about a drug. Therefore, cognition, communication and social relationships and animals are difficult to compare with human conditions.